So what we have here is a new program called Astro Pixel Processor that only came live um, at the end of May, beginning of June. Um, I used it to put together a six pane mosaic that I could not get stitched in any other software at all. And this stitched it absolutely brilliantly. So I thought I'd give it a go for other things as well. So what we need to do first is load in our flats and here they are in my calibration folder. Let's use the luminance ones. OK, I've got 45 flats and we want to load in the darks. Darks, I use my 30, 300 second ones. And there's 31 of them. OK, so if you look at the bottom screen here, this bottom area of the screen, you can see I've got my flats loaded in. And you can see as well, I've got my darks and it gives you the file name and it tells you exactly where they are, which is really, really useful. And then they give you a lot more information as you as you scroll along and as you're actually doing things. And then these these um, these columns fill up with relevant information. So that's what we've got at the minute. Um, what you can do, just one thing to note, is if you double click on a file in here and then it opens it up in the main window so you can see it. If you click on details, then it will give you that's the fits information. Um, so that's a good thing to know, and quite easy to do. So we've loaded in all our data and now I'm going to calibrate it and make a bad pixel map. Here, you can see you've got master bias, master dark, master flat. But what we're interested in this minute in time is a bad pixel map. So hot pixels, I'm going to use Kappa 2. So I'm going to stick with the defaults and 50%. Make sure that create bad pixel map is, map is ticked and then press calibrate. And a couple of minutes later, it will all be done. Right, so a couple of minutes later, it's all finished. And if we have a little look down here, there you are. You can see the bad pixel map. If you click on it, and then you can see it. So you can see the all the hot pixels and the cold pixels there, and you can also see a column defect that I've got. And if you click on details, you want to use this just to make sure that you've got the settings about right. Um, as you can see here, I used hot capper two, and the percentage of cold pixels was fifty percent. And I've got here a 3.325 percentage of bad pixels. You are looking at around requiring about 3%. So I'm quite happy with that. So as far as I'm concerned, that's my bad pixel map done. Now, what it does is it automatically saves it. So it tells you exactly where it saved it. So if I pull up that file, um, let's put it in docs. There we go. It's automatically saved it in there. So I know exactly where it is. So that is how to create a bad pixel map. Get more information on this and other astrophotography tips, articles, and tutorials at the photographingspace.com website. And don't forget to sign up for our weekly tips newsletter and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials and video.